So how do you know if a wine is of poor or outstanding quality? These sort of questions and answers tend to be very subjective for most people based on if they like a wine or not. But that's where WSET's systematic approach to tasting comes in because it standardizes based on quality assessment. So let's get into it. WSET basically has a checklist of four quality assessment categories. They are balance, length, intensity or expressiveness, and complexity, otherwise known as Blick. And these are used to then form the conclusion of whether a wine goes from poor to outstanding. And those different categories will list down from poor, acceptable, good, very good, and outstanding. So wines that have no balance, length, intensity, or complexity are poor. Wines that have one of those will be acceptable. Wines that have two of those check marks will be good. And that's where the majority of wines fall into and so on all the way up to outstanding. So this wine, for example, which I just tasted a couple of minutes ago, gets all four check marks. Balance, tons of it. Length <laughs> goes on for over a minute. Intensity is incredible. And complexity of primary, secondary, tertiary aromas, 100%. So this becomes an outstanding wine. So I know, I kind of blitzed through this whole thing, but if you'd like to go through this whole process with us, then just tap the link in bio and check out our courses at Wine Enthusiast Academy to learn more. Cheers, hope to see you there.